Hey guys, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day and welcome back to uh, some Prussian glory. We are stomping a coalition 10 to 1 their losses are. 10 to 1. It's incredible. And I've lost most of my men to attrition, so legit insane. So these guys down here are going to be tasked with this. So in this war, I want these two provinces. Ooh. Um, hmm. Looks like these guys are kind of stuck on an island over here. Let's get these boys down over here. Yeah, these guys are stuck here. Um, let's see here. Can I pull you boys over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. There you go. They're running away. Uh, this fort zone of control is, like, somehow stopping me from moving. That's absolutely whack. Absolutely whack, but that's fine. Should be able to wipe these boys out on Munich. Apparently the Mamluks joined this war. I didn't even realize it. That's pretty cool. Let's kill those guys there. Not bad. We won that fort over here. Yeah, this war is going quite well for us. <laughs> quite well. So we need this province occupied, and then we need Augsburg occupied. Those are the three provinces we're taking. Uh, this province, and then these two. And that will allow us to form Germany when the time comes. We are going to need to attack these guys in 38. So my goal would be to finish this war up in the near future. We'll see how it goes. It's a coalition war, so instantly they get like a huge boost, but it looks like they're actually um, dropping in, um, what should we call it? Um, their excitedness to be in the war, whatever that's called, enthusiasm. Continue building these guys. Okay. Sieging down everybody's capital is going to be a big one. Is Poland in this war? Oh yeah, they are. Let's siege down Poland's capital. Why not? Alright, let's actually have these guys head on over. Siege you. Siege you. And then... In this war, I want these two provinces, or these three provinces. That's it. 42%. Oh, we can actually probably get that. Let's go siege down Trent. If we can siege down Trent's capital, we might be able to uh, enforce that peace. We've won the Siege of Pest. Oh, yeah. This is so easy. This is so easy. Let's do a quick carpet siege of Bohemia. There we go. A little bit of extra war score. If we siege on his capital, he'll dr he'll drop in enthusiasm. You can see it's plus. Uh, where are we at here? Oh, I don't know. Usually it says uh, oh plus a certain amount because of a coalition war, but it's not right now. Apparently, there's a big doom stack over there that I missed. Fifty-four thousand men. It's crazy. Where are you lads going, huh? I don't think so. Let's get you guys over here. Get these guys merged up together. I would like to wipe that Austrian stack. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. And it did anyways. Yes, very good. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we can definitely get this piece now. Um, we're going to have to pay Diplo if we take anything else. So, well, we have to pay Diplo anyways. Um, it's just a bummer because the truces will all be up at the same time. But there's nothing I can do about that. Everybody in here is in the coalition. If I wanted to, I could do this and extend the coalition a couple extra, like a, a year extra. So let's do that. That's fine. I will core you up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I will give this province to Robot. Right there. Very good. Robot looking very good. Uh, and as far as missions goes, how where are we at? The Franconian Conquest. So we'll be able to do that very soon. Like within the next couple of months, we'll be able to attack him, right? December of next year. So let's speed five it for now. Let our boys regen. What a war that was, huh? It was a slaughter. 
They didn't stand a chance. Let's have you boys group up here. Very good. Got a stack down here in Hungary. Who are you allied to? Denmark and Saluzo. Actually fine with me. Because I can actually take some provinces here. Like maybe Schleswig? We'll see. I'll do what I can. Can I re-ally Spain? I can. All right, we hate them because they dishonored a call to arms. Kind of understandable. I mean, I don't blame them at all for dishonoring it. They're still a bastard. Manpower recovery. Almost 3,000 manpower a month we gain, which is really good. Prestige for free. And then in December, we can order that attack there. I would love to take, like, a couple of provinces. These are both low dev, and this one's a center of trade, so that would be pretty good. So I think we'll do that. Can I get some trust with you? Yeah, I'm not going to call you into war, so I might as well just boost your trust up. You'll be much more willing to join me if I do that. And uh, let's do our usual... We can't do it. Son of a gun. My peepee -pee is small. Uh, Alright, well our trust... Our, um, our money from trade is pretty good, though. Uh, buy you down. I should probably be working towards this, right? Uh, multicultural nation. I'm gonna spend some diplo. We're ahead, so we might as well. Uh, we won't even get it. Win the religious war. Multiple universities. We can do that. Build a couple more of them. Should probably build them in like the provinces where we plan on deving a lot. That's. Or deving even more, maybe? Because it's an additional 20%. And then next month, we'll be able to attack Palatinate, and we'll be able to take a bunch of clay. Pull half you guys up here. Um, get some heavy ships. I don't think he's got a navy anymore. Uh, he still has 26, 26 ships, so... He's got something. What it is, I don't know, but he's got something. Attack. Austria will defend. Don't care. Don't even care what it's for. I won't even look. That's how I feel about you. I'm not done coring these, so we're going to have to actually uh, peace out Austria. Let's get you guys down there. That should be a wipe on his army. It was not somehow. It's fine. I'll siege his capital down. Yeah, we're just going to siege down Vienna ASAP. White Peace Austria. Yeah, maybe we don't even White Peace them. Oh, that's funny. They just fled there. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, they're low morale, but that's mountains there. They're still taking crazy heavy losses. Look at that. That's wild, actually. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's pull you guys up here. Have you guys... Do something like that. Have these guys head over here. Let's get an admiral. I'm okay being over my limit. It's not a big deal. Won the Siege of Vienna. Siege is going on for a bit longer than I feel is necessary, huh? There we go. Unterkarten. go so I originally was just gonna white peace Austria but I suppose keeping a longer truce would be better so let's do that let's get a general in there there you go all right Austria could have been my friend but you chose not to so this is what happens when you refuse to be my friend I'm a friendly cuddly dude all I want to do is be your friend 
Lots of money coming in. It's good. Build more universities with it. I don't care about the loan. So that's five universities. So that'll get us towards here. Our first one will probably be admin efficiency. That, if, that equals like 15 absolutism, I believe. I could be wrong. So in this war, well, our dude's over here, but let's see here. You, gonna come and siege down his capital. You guys are going to come over here. Apparently we can't do that because of the fort zone of control reasons. Oh my gosh, I cannot get over it. 13 day siege ticks. Let's get these guys all grouped up. We're gonna have him full occupied in no time. A little bit of attrition to assert our dominance. Here we go. Here we go. Not bad. All right, so Denmark, I will set for peace. I'm just gonna take these two provinces. War reps, all your money. Actually, trade power and all your money. Not bad. And with that, I think we can finally move our trade capital to like Hamburg. So we'll upgrade all these trade centers and uh, we'll steer from here, and I think we'll be able to collect much more money over here. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not I'm, I'm not exactly sure on that. I might be wrong. So let's protect trade in uh, Lubeck. We do need to steer as much from Novgorod as possible. Cool, and in this war, I want all of this. Cool, we can totally do that. And I have the admin for it, so let's do it. No big deal. Time for peace. And let's um, upgrade these boys. Pour that one up. And let's move our trade capital to Hamburg. So where are we at right now? 57, roughly. Let's see what we can do here with trade. Transfer from here with our guy that I haven't been using, which I'm sure people have been screaming about. 57 is what we were at, and now we're at 67. So we gain an extra 10 ducats a month, and that's without really um, protecting much here. Let's protect a little more. I think we can protect even more, so let's do that. Oh, never mind. Yep, we're over our limit. <laughs> that's okay. And we can build a couple of these buildings over here to get a little bit more trade. That's fine. We have another mission. The Franconian Conquest gives us some mill mana. That's pretty cool. Uh, and now we just need the German Confederation, which I don't know. All right, not bad. What's this other one? Where are we at here? Global dominance, trade deficiency, and man and uh, prestige. Very good. So our trade income is actually going to go up even more now. Sixty-nine. Nice. Look at these borders. Oh, except for what's going on down here. Let's see here. Who's got the short truces? Bohemia and Hungary. Those are the ones we got to attack next. If I wanted to, I kind of want to get like a show strength off on Muscovy. I don't know. We don't really need the mana a whole lot, but um, monetary reparations, annulment of treaties, transfers trade power. Yeah, we might as well do this. Coalition isn't going to happen, so might as well do something, right? Uh, now I don't know about the Swedish navy. I assume Sweden can whoop me. So let's avoid that if we can. Hopefully these guys won't get wiped out. Let's pull you guys home. 34 galleys. Let's upgrade our heavies here. Get another heavy here.
So let's have these guys um, split. Nope. I would like to... Oh, we don't have access through Denmark. Just kidding. Rush up here and then rush up here with another guy. Yeah, they're, they might be able to get there in time. They didn't. Haha. <laughs> well, that's nice. We're definitely going to be able to piece him out soon then. Let's get you guys over here. Get you guys over here. These guys will be our, our backup units. Still way ahead, so we might as well do this. It's going to make our army cost a lot less, so it'll be a lot easier to land a big juicy army. There you go, Sweden. Make sure you build up that army. Very important. <laughs> We're just attacking Muscovy to humiliate him. I wonder how that feels for them. In the Siege of Kalmar. Onto his capital. Very straightforward war. The Siege ability is juicy, too. Uh, yeah, so let's actually just head over here. Move on Stockholm, so we can just piece him out, probably. I'm going to take his trade, though. So we're going to do a Carpet Siege over here. Something like this. Because he's got most of his armies down here, so it's like, who cares? Keep an eye on this. We've won the Siege of Smolensk. So these guys will be there on the 15th. We could be there on the 16th. Not bad. That's a good fight for us. It's in the grasslands too, so we probably will be able to wipe them. The Muscovy. Ooh. Oh yeah. Not bad at all. They're dogpiling though. Just kidding, we still win. Because, you know, Prussia's overpowered. So, there we go. Let's go for our admin efficiency. Alright, and absolutism is going up slowly but surely. These guys are going to give me transfer trade power. That's the bare minimum. Do a little bit more occupation over here. Truce with Ulm has ended. Ooh. Now I'm worried. I'm watching my back. Don't worry, chat. Though I may be full of fear, I'm optimistic that he's benevolent and Ulm will not attack me. Yikes. I'd rather you guys didn't attack me here, though I will attack you in Moskva. Easy enough, right? So his morale is actually higher than mine, but my discipline is way higher than his. I suppose these guys could be reinforcing, huh? We were winning that. Handedly, actually. Look at that. Look at those casualties. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Alright. How about that? <laughs> oh, yikes. Alright. Um, Alright, these guys just need to be siege down for a bit, I think. They're just... They're, for, they're not giving me an op option. They're going to force me to siege them down. It's fine. Take a look over here. Truce of these guys isn't up until 48, so we're good. This war can have our undivided attention. Once we siege down Moskva, we will have the ticking war score in our favor. Oh yeah, not bad. Something like this. Just gotta be careful, because he's gonna have a bunch of little roaming stacks that are gonna be trying to kill me. Because they are... Eh, they only have 68, so they're actually not doing very good. go. Wipe you boys. Wipe you boys. The more of his stacks we can catch, the better. Not bad at all. How many men have they lost? 111. I have lost 69 slash 70. Not bad. I would say that this war is going off without a hitch. 
How many of my men have I lost to attrition? Just 40. <laughs> there we go. Let's have these guys head on over here. Same. Just have them all march on over there. As we siege down the more of his forts, we will get more and more war score. Don't need to be forced marching though. Wasting my mana. You son of a gun. These guys are taking attrition. Again, just asserting dominance, that's all. Nice. I don't need the professionalism. Well, actually... Yeah, we don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it. It's fine. I'd rather not take the loan out if I can avoid it. Very good. So these guys are going to separate piece. They're going to give me all their money. This is the piece that I'm taking from them. They will get nothing less. Their war exhaustion is explosive right now. So they're going to definitely peace out. Very good. So 50% of his trade power, which means I'll be steering 50% more power from here. So it'll be looking like it does right now. 10% of his money, his monthly taxes, and 1,000 ducats. Not bad. And now these boys over here... I would like to humiliate him. I'd like something like this. I'll 100% him. I don't mind. I have plenty of time. Uh, we're actually not even that far off, honestly. We just need to siege down some more stuff, that's all. Let's get a general over there. He's heading into Luki. I think it would be in your best interest to stay in Luki. Yes. Let's catch the stack out here. Come over here to uh, whatever that province is called. That is a decisive victory, an actual stack wipe. That's uh, kind of cra kind of crazy. If you guys come over here, we're gonna start carpet sieging then. There we go. Let's see if we can catch these boys down here in Colm. Yes, we can. Not bad. The stacks are heading into suicide. Not bad at all. Very good. This war, this battle is definitely a win for us. He's actually doing pretty good though. He's got high morale. He has really good morale. I'm not used to that from Muscovy. Something like this. Get over here. Something like this. I'll lose the prestige, I don't mind. There we go. We're very close to getting a 100% peace deal with Muscovy. And when did this war start? Two years ago. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? As soon as we siege down these provinces, we should be good to piece them out. Very good. Oh, he's so close. Oh, right, this, that naval battle right there. Cool. It's coming, chat. 100% peace with Muscovy. And we don't get any... Oop. I'd rather not fight that 13 stack right there. Very good. All of his money, humiliate, all of his, or 50% of his trade and 10% of his local yearly taxes. That means we're going to be steering a lot more money into here. It means we're going to be making a lot more money down here. All our heavies over there. Lose some manpower for literally no reason. Let's actually have you leading over here. Get us a little more money. 76 ducats a month from trade. It's pretty good. No more loans. We can actually now state this. Well, eventually. There we go. State this. Upgrade that. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Well, when we have the money. So that'll take us from 76.6 up to... Maybe we should be steering from somewhere else other than Krakow as well. Try that one instead. 77.6. Maybe it isn't better. 77.6. So it's the same. Sure, dude. I'll share some maps with you. These guys are so thirsty for these maps. All right, let's get these boys back home. Uh, I think that's a half stack. That's a half stack. That's a half stack. 
Very good, cool. Well, that was a very straightforward ass whooping for Muscovy, so it feels good. If you guys liked it, make sure that you please show your support, leave a like on the video. It really does help out a lot. Um, we are going to be probably forming a Germany in the next episode. Uh, maybe, maybe, we'll see. It's all about gonna be what our coalition allows, right? <laughs> so in the next episode, we're gonna fight Bohemia, try to take all of this. Realistically, I'm going to vassalize him because we want pretty borders. We don't need it, so I'll, uh, I'm, I have no problem with that. We'll probably, excuse me, we'll probably vassalize him, reconquest this, and uh, eventually, maybe we'll even give him Slovakia, Czechoslovakian vassal, right? Well, if you guys are enjoying, show your support, leave a like, all that fun stuff, subscribe, ding the bell, blah, 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 blah. If you want to support us, though, Patreon is huge. It really does help out more than you know. So if uh, that's within your means and you'd like to, it's going to be linked in the description below, as well as our uh, Discord if you want to uh, hang out in there. So that's all fine and dandy. There we go. Let's do this. This is going to make our army even cheaper. Look at that. We're making 40 ducats a month. Incredible. All right. Let's turn a couple of these off because we're wasting money for no reason. Don't need you there either. All right. This is Chewy Shoot Boys, and I will catch you guys later. Oh, hey, you made it to the end of the video. That's pretty cool. Make sure you check out a couple of these videos that we have linked based on the YouTube algorithm. And a big special thanks to my January patrons, Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, M. Dressel, Thara, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Jay Cutchell, N. Winkler, RJ Pilot, and many more. You guys are wonderful. Your support is very much appreciated.